I'm Matt Henry. If this is your first introduction to the hit web series Friday Night Weekly, then let me be the first to say, welcome to fun, <laughs> because that's what we're all about here is fun, let me tell you. You also may be surprised to learn that we're already on to season two. That's right, while you were sleeping, we made 25 episodes. That's more than the first season of Joey. <laughs> you remember Joey, right? The, the Friends spinoff? But you don't, you don't remember Friends either? Okay, that was the one with Jennifer Aniston. Mm -hmm. No, you're thinking of Blossom. Okay, whatever, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Uh, there's a much more important show that bears mentioning right now. Friday <laughs> Night <laughs> Weekly. Oh my god. I, really? Really? Did, what? Why? Why? I, I specifically told you, do you remember, okay, let's think of the conversation we had before you came here. Remember you yeah. said, hey, best friend Matt, can I come on the recap of season one of Friday Night Weekly and, you know, not talk? And I said, well, yeah, that's exactly what I want you to do. Just don't talk. You can come on. Don't talk. That's it. That was the only thing I told you not to do. It all started on September 13th, 2013, when filmmaker Joseph K. Richards embarked on a new journey to create a weekly news program and bring the real news to the people of the world. We'll be bringing the news to you as we see it, as we hear it. And as we smell it. Pee-you! Okay, <laughs> Hiring Ruben Glazer as FNW special reporter. Uh, hello everybody, I'm uh, uh, Ruben Glazer. If you could just imagine, carry it. Ryan DeWorth as a production assistant. Ryan, would you get a can I tell him to scram? Uh, Ryan, Ryan, can you scram? Can oh, yeah, you? yeah. Ryan, this is clearly vodka. Oh. Come on, correct this. Uh, uh, and me, Matt Henry, as his trusted co-host. We are gonna be here. We are. Of course, it took Joseph less than one episode for him to realize that we were all completely incapable of handling our respective jobs. Whoops. <laughs> I got nothing causing him to very quickly slide back into alcoholism and a meth addiction. Now don't forget to like, share, comment. Kumbaya! <laughs> but that's not important now. Unbeknownst to me, Joseph had already made plans to replace me with a new co-host, a woman named Mackenzie Betcher. Okay, uh, I, I, I did talk to her. I, I understand. Are you, you gotta be kidding, really? Is there she's anything that she can't she, she's, she's do? Real. But like most women, she shows up a week too early. Is this an okay time? That's what Guys, I is this... <laughs> Why is there a this woman is, uh, here? Uh, so I broke into her house and locked her in a closet for three weeks. <laughs> hey, Mackenzie. Just like, just like Esmeralda. Yeah. <laughs> While she was fighting to stay alive, eating shoes or something, we were fighting to keep things together on the show. <laughs> oh, so he's not coming on the show then? <laughs> What if this is connected with Mackenzie? It's not Ryan, 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 missing persons report. We no, got no, 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 <laughs> Bury that Simpsons ghost at least six inches in the soil. <laughs> uh, all better. Look, can we show dicks on the show? I mean, can we show dicks on this show? What, it, it, did somebody just break into our room in the night and, and, and throw in a closet or something? <laughs> Matt locked Founder. me in the closet. Found her in the closet. Matt was Matt, the one that locked Matt me. Matt Mass. Me. Matt Mass lost her. What? But then I decided to save her instead, and she became the third co-host of our show. You're Matt, fired. Get the fuck out of here. You're fired. You're <laughs> fired. I can't catch. I'll do anything. Just keep me on the show. Actually, wow. Well, second, second thought. Well, three hosts. We can keep them. Three hosts. Three hosts. Things seem to be turning around for the better at that point. Girl, you know I'm Whoopi Goldberg. But then I think special reporter Ruben Glazer figured out Joseph was intending to fire him. I literally heard him say we should fire that guy. So he decided to start making some plays of his own to keep his job. Let's form an alliance with me. We can give it a fun name, you know, like, like the Axis powers. By forming an alliance with Ryan the PA. I'm in. And then by working his way up the ladder to Ryan's Uncle Glenn. You're looking at the guy that's taken over this show. You are looking at the executive producer. Whose mid-season return from the nation prompted a takeover during the episode where I brought out a topless weather girl. Oh my god, if you look over here. Why I is this the first time I'm down here? Uncle Glenn decided he had the right to be the new executive producer since the show was filmed in his basement. There's a whole building up there. It is a house. Guess who lives in that house? I live in that house. Glenn. Ryan and Uncle Glenn didn't make things any easier for Joseph, Mackenzie, and I. Are you guys about done over there? No one out there gives a shit about any of this. But as it were, a greater evil was at work yet. Joseph's arch nemesis and supervillain Matt Ott, who had constructed an evil machine which he used to erase view counts from Friday Night Weekly on YouTube. Soon, Friday Night Weekly will have zero views on YouTube and I will rule the world. <laughs> His evil knew no bounds, 
as he killed the headmaster from Joseph and Mai's boys' school, Headmaster Shannon. Oh, you guys always. Oh! Oh! <laughs> whenever anybody says, whenever anybody says I was not part of this, pretty soon the Headmaster Shannon murder caught up to us. When an undercover detective showed up questioning Uncle Glenn and Ryan the PA. Would you know who had their hand on the pulse of Headmaster Shannon as he died on your basement floor? Ryan. Uh, yes, Unky? Is your guy. Run. 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 What do you yes, want me to run? The... Anywhere but here, dude. Ryan flew the coop after the heat got hot, leaving us without a PA and Reuben and Glenn without a third member to their alliance. I think this is a bit of a majority rules type situation. So there's three of us and there's two of you guys. Majority rules, I mean, that's like, that's written in the FNW code somewhere. Rules are rules, we gotta play ball. This allowed us to get my neutral pushover best friend, Scooney, to take over as the new PA and let things cool off. Love that moment. Oh my oh, god, are you fucking kidding me? Really? Honestly, seriously, man? Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm just, just one, just the one thing. With this happening, Ruben and Glenn shifted their focus to a new movie venture of theirs, Rat Ship, an experimental feature film. Gloop, gloop it. And it tanked horribly, causing a number of suicides at its premiere and instantly making Glenn and Ruben bankrupt. The house is being foreclosed on thanks to Ruben's movie. Um, tumultuous times ensued as we fought for the right to our name against some FND boys in Chicago. Right. We're not here for the TV, right. we're here for the FNW. We're, well, yeah, and to get rid of the FND. Weren't we going to do something? Uh, oh, the we rumble. were going to fight. We the rumble. Fight. Right. We were going to yeah, rumble. We, gonna we rumble. had the intention to rumble. That's right. I don't really want to, though. Kind of I'm feeling super right? full. Scientist and inventor Professor Van Uchi helped us destroy Maddot's machine. Just a little further. <laughs> And in an unexpected turn, with all his money gone, Uncle Glenn sold the show to some guy named Alex Trapp in Columbia. It's me, the new owner of the show, Alex Trapp in Columbia. Who asked the three hosts to join him on his farm. You can pay me back by working here on my coffee bean farm in Columbia. Isn't that exciting? Even though Joseph isn't letting me go for some reason. If I, I ever go to Columbia, yeah, you're I never am going leaving to you behind. Because no one's going to be there. You are staying here. I can't go to Columbia, even though he asked the three hosts to be on the show. And as God is my witness, I will never bring you to Columbia. For some reason, I can't go because we got in that one argument, you remember? And I was just like, oh, I bet this hat's as hot as Columbia. And he got really mad. He's like, it was you in Columbia. You wouldn't know. Well, you don't know you that I wouldn't liar. know. You don't know that I wouldn't You're know. You're just what, okay. fake. And I'm just like, well, but maybe I know what the heat in Columbia is like, you know? Right. And I could, and I'd love to find out. I mean, I'd love to go and find out, obviously, but mm. apparently I can't go. I mean, I don't know. Like, Bienvenidos a la segunda temporada de Friday Night Weekly. Yo soy su nuevo productor ejecutivo, Alex Trapp. Y yo soy Josep Ricardo. Estamos muy emocionados a decirles bienvenidos a Colombia. ¿Qué es un caballo? Tenemos esta temporada todo tipo de programación para su entretenimiento, entre educacional, ambiental y otros. Y los paredes son amargas. 